All right, YouTube friends, welcome to Co Project Code Away. Just wanted to show you guys something I figured out. At least I hope I figured it out. Seems like it's going to work. I am in the middle of making some bow limbs for a pistol crossbow. And what I wanted to do is make them stronger. These are made out of PVC. And PVC works pretty good, but I was thinking if I could get them stronger, that would be even better. So what I've done is embedded some fiber rod in between the pieces. And I was going to show you how I did that. Now on a recurve, I'm not sure how you would get the curve part with the broad in it, but that might be my next step to try to figure that out. But this is a pretty cool little thing to try. It actually seems to be working out exactly like I wanted it to happen. So I'm going to get this set up real quick and show you what I'm going to do. Actually, before I do that, this is actually a jig that I've set up here. I made this a long time ago to make some of our longer uh, regular uh, recurve bows. And what it is is about three pieces of, let me get this out of the way, it's about three, three pieces of two by four. So you got the top, the side piece bottom piece and then one that is on a door hinge so that you can actually close on top of the heated PVC and smash the PVC down. So what we're going to do here is take, oh and I added this piece right here, this is just a piece of oak for this particular project. So. When I heat the PVC, and I'm just going to do a little short piece right now. You could actually do a full length piece of this. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to do a little short piece, kind of like the ones I did for the uh, pistol bow. So these are actually going to end up being kind of like a compound. I'm going to put a pulley at the end with a string that goes through the pulley. So anyway, um, we're going to heat this piece up and the reason I put the piece of oak in here is so that I can keep it straight when I set this on here, the uh, PVC sits against it so when I clamp it, it keeps it nice and straight. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this set up and run through a little demonstration of how to get these embedded inside the PVC. So we're going to show you how to do this. We're going to uh, reinforce this PVC piece. I'm just doing a little short piece like I said before. Um, kind of like these that I was doing for the crossbow but you could do full length uh, reinforced PVC. And this is the fiber rod we're going to use. It's just fiberglass rod that's flexible. And I'm going to heat this up and once it's heated up the goal is going to be to put these two pieces of fiberglass rod in here and get them spread out to the edge. Then I'm going to take this piece of brass tubing and clamp it down so that it creates a groove sort of like this. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. I'll get my heat gun here and my glove on. I'm just heating it up using a regular heat gun. So what we're going to do here is put the fiber rod in, and then I'm going to take one of my clamps, make sure we get this right up against that edge. Sorry about the noise in the background, i got to leave the heat gun blower on so I'm cool so it will actually uh, cool off the heat gun and not mess it up. So we're going to clamp this down. I'm going to reheat it a little bit more here in just a minute. We'll get this lined up just to get started. I'm going to put about three of these clamps on for now.
Try not to bump the camera, sorry. Kind of a weird angle to get a camera on while I'm trying to work, but it is what it is. Alright, so we got a couple of those on there, and then what I do is take something and spread out these pieces of fiber rod a little bit. So right now I'm just using this uh, nail punch just because it's about the right width. I put them down, put it down in between here. Spread those out. Do the same thing on the other end of something. Get those spread out and go ahead and heat it up some more. down there. Grab a couple more. I got about five of these clamps. So I'm going to go here. Now what I want to do is make sure my clamp goes just on the inside of that piece of wood. So I have to loosen these, tighten it back down. Look, this side down here looking pretty good. Oops, sorry, bump the camera. And I'm gonna heat this side down here a little bit more. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, we're going to let this cool down, and then when I take it apart, we should have that trap. I'll cut back to that here in just a minute. I'm going to let this cool for a few minutes. Alright, I went ahead and took the clamps off. And this was our piece of copper tubing. And what we have is the PVC with the fiber rod embedded in it and there's a little channel I guess you can see it right here so the fiber rods to keep the channel keeps the fiber rod on the outside of the PVC so that right there my friends is a pretty strong bow limb when you add that PVC so you'll see uh, this is what I did on my compound crossbow if you subscribe and look at my channel you'll find my other video coming up that's gonna be about the compound bow pistol um, still kind of working on that but I thought I'd cut into this video because we figured this out this is part of the compound bow pistol so yeah go check it out that'll be a fun video a little how to on how I made that just step by step walking through it thank you guys for watching and hopefully this will help someone out with one of their projects I don't know might be kind of neat and these here are a couple of, of the uh, recurve bows we made in the past using that same jig I was talking about. One of them's got a wooden handle with two uh, pieces of PVC connected on each end. And the other one is just one solid straight piece of PVC. And that's my kiddo Bross.